It's JP Positive with another episode of Pokemon TCGO, guys. And tonight I'm going to be playing with a brand new Shining Legends Mewtwo GX Hoopa deck. Also does have the Shining Mew, guys. If anybody doesn't know, full art burst, 30 damage times the number of energy attached to Mewtwo requires one psychic energy to use it. And then Hoopa, which is a basic 120 hit points, has the ability prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this pokemon by your opponent's pokemon gx or ex which is just like luminous barrier that the nine tails have and then we have our shine mew with legendary guidance search your deck with two energies and attach them to your pokemon in any way you like that includes dces or any special energy that you need and our three top leleis with the one attack abilities so that we can go in and grab out all the supporters we need like guzmas acerolas Professor Sycamores or even a Ninja Boy if we need to switch somebody out for a Hoopa so that they can prevent damage. So with all that said guys, I'm going to get started in one match and we're going to see how it works out. Hopefully we can get a victory. Deck list will be in the description below so make sure that you give that a good read so that you know everything that's going on with the channel as well as the deck list in this video. So I'll be right back with one match for you guys to see how awesome this deck does work out. Hopefully we can get a victory and I really appreciate everybody watching so we'll be right back. Alright guys we're going in with our first match with the brand new Mewtwo GX deck that I put together. Mewtwo GX slash Hoopa. We did win the coin flip so we will be going first and hopefully we do get a good hand guys. Let's see what we can come up with. We start off with a Hoopa so hopefully... Hopefully our opponent's playing some GX's. I do see some Tapu Koko sleeves. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a Tapu Koko deck. Oh, but it is. It looks like it's going to be a Koko Budu deck. So we are going to have to be careful and watch out, guys. We will go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of... Hmm... We will get rid of one Energy and one Fighting Fury Belt. Even though I really wanted to keep the Fighting Fury Belt... We're going to go ahead. Should I bring out Mewtwo or should I do an end? I think I need to end this turn, guys. So what I'm going to do is drop down the Lele. I will use the Max Elixir so that I can attach one energy onto my Lele if I do get the hit. But I'll go ahead and grab out an end with Wonder Tag. And we'll try and draw a new hand. I will be attaching a DCE onto my Hoopa. And then we're going to go from there. So DCE onto the Hoopa Max Elixir. Can I hit it? Yes, I do. One onto the Lele, and then I will end my hand. We're having six new cards out of my deck. Can we get a Mewtwo? Well, we do not, but we do get a Fighting Fury Belt, and we do get a Lele for next turn. And we get a Special Energy also. So pretty much set up to hit for that 90 damage next turn. I don't think our opponent's going to be able to attack their first turn, so we should be okay. I'm going to leave that Fighting Fury Belt right there, just in case I do get the Mewtwo. I could attach it to him instead. Two, three more Grubbins come down on the bench. So, we may be seeing a Vicavolt GX. It could be just a regular Vicavolt, but either way, our opponent's not going to be able to evolve this turn. We do see an Assault Vest, which is going to be doing 40 less damage. To our opponent's Pokemon if we have a special energy on our Pokemon which we do have a special energy on our Pokemon but we also have a Guzma and we're going to be able to retreat the Lele for free so we'll go ahead and use that to our advantage bring out one of these Grubbins and we'll go ahead and retreat our Lele and knock out this Grubbin right here guys Grabbing our first prize card, and we do have a Lele in hand so that we can go ahead and grab another. And if we do need it, another Hoopa is coming out of our prize cards into our hands. The Mewtwo has not yet come out, but I do want you guys to see him and how it works. So hopefully he does come out pretty soon. Another Assault Vest. So they're really making the damage minimal by putting those Assault Vests onto their Pokemon. But I believe I do have a Field Blower. So right now I can Ultra Ball. Actually, I can Lele for a Guzma again and knock out another Grubbin. Let's see, what do I want to do? Hmm. 
I then want to go ahead and attach a Fighting Fury Belt to my Tapu Lele GX. I will also go ahead and attach one energy. And I will go ahead and place this Lele onto my bench using that one attack ability. And I'll grab out a Guzma, guys. And knock out a second Grubbin. Let's see what we can do. So we'll go ahead and bring this Grubbin out. We'll bring our Tapu Lele GX out. And then we will go ahead and retreat. Bring this Hoopa back out and go ahead and attack and knock out that Grubbin. Grabbing our second prize card. And we get our first Mewtwo GX up. Nice. So I will be Ultra Balling next turn. Hopefully we do have another Tapu Lele inside our deck. So that I can go ahead and grab a Professor Sycamore. Drop down the Mewtwo. And get some more cards into my hand. Start setting up that Mewtwo GX. But we'll see what happens. By the way, by the way this is the Secret Rare Mewtwo that I did pull in my opening. So if you guys missed that, make sure you go... Go check out that Shining Legends opening that I did on Pokemon TCG Online. So, we see a Fighting Fury Bell go on to the Lele. We see our opponent evolve the Vicavolt. I mean, the Charger Bug into a Vicavolt. Using that Strong Charge ability and attaching some energies. Or an energy onto the Lele. I think that's all they did. Wow. So... We'll go ahead, Ultra Ball, get rid of these two cards. I don't even know if I have another Lele. I do. I wasn't 100% sure. I knew I had three in the deck, but I wasn't sure if one was in my prizes. So I will go ahead and throw down the Mewtwo GX. Go ahead and throw down the Lele for the Sycamore. Sycamore in my hand, grabbing seven more cards and hope for the best so that we can start setting up our bench Mewtwo EX. Now this is a brand new deck, Shining Legends guys, let me know what you think of it. I think it's going to be a pretty good deck, but we'll see what happens guys. A lot of people are working on Zorark, I do want to make a Zorark deck as well, but we will see how that goes. Max Elixir, are we going to get the hit? We do get the hit guys, so we'll go ahead and attach that to our Mewtwo GX. We will Max Elixir one more time. And we also get a hit right there, so we'll go ahead and attach that down to our Mewtwo GX. We do have a free retreat right now, so would, be, would we be able to knock out this Grubbin? It's going to be able to do 40 less damage with the DCEs. So let's see, 369, 12. So 12 minus 40 is 80, so we're still going to be able to get the knockout. Actually, I can take this off with the Field Blower, so I actually don't have to worry about it. Which, I'm going to take it off the Vicavolt and the Grubbin. And then we will go ahead and retreat our Hoopa. And bring out the Mewtwo GX, which is the star of this deck. Hoopa is also the star because he can't be hit by any GX. And we'll go ahead and knock out our opponent's Grubbin. With 120 damage with our Mewtwo. One more Psychic Energy I will be hitting for 200. Which would be pretty nice, so... Hopefully we can get that going. Actually, I, when I say 200, I mean for my GX attack, not for full burst. Wow. So, our opponent does 170 damage to us. Almost being able to knock us out, but not quite. We do still have the free retreat, and our opponent decides to concede, guys. Anyways, that was just a quick look at the new Mewtwo GX Hoopa deck from shining legends so i hope everybody enjoyed i will be coming out with another video with this deck because i know you guys really do want to see it then i'm also going to make a raichu gx deck and a zoroark gx deck so everybody stay tuned for that i really appreciate you guys watching all my videos the like the subscriptions all that is great so keep them coming and like everybody knows it's jp positive and i'm out